Floating center caps are one of the coolest gimmicks you can find on a car. You can even get OEM sets from the dealer for your BMW or Mini. But they are a bit expensive for something that's ultimately just a gimmick. So in this video, I'll be making my own set using 3D printing, 25 bucks, and the badges I already have on my car. So to make these, I'm gonna need my existing wheel center caps, some fishing line weights, some sleeve bolts, and some $3 bearings. The first job is to take measurements of the existing center caps, measurements of all the parts I'm using, and create a design in CAD. Okay, well I've just probably spent about an hour in CAD and I think I've got something I can work with as sort of a first prototype. I don't know if it's gonna work first try, but I'll show you. So this is the rotating disc of the sort of assembly we have. This is a hex cutout for this bolt so it can slide in and be recessed in there and this will hold it from spinning while you're tightening the other side and over the top of everything goes the logo. Thankfully, these BMW center caps are really easy to work with. They have these tabs you can bend up out of the way and then take off like that. On the back, you can see these four recesses where the tabs will fold back down to keep it in place. Three cutouts for these little fishing weights I've bought. I'm hoping it'll be enough to keep it centered. And then this shaft coming down, which will rest against the face of the bearing. Then we've got the side that snaps into the wheel. It should have about one millimeter of clearance between the inside most part of this and the rotating disc. And the bearing will go in the back here and it's held in place by this sort of flange that stops it from pulling through. So let's print it and see if it works. Okay, well, here are the two finished parts. Weights go in nicely. Badge. Looks like it fits really nicely. I'm not gonna bend these tabs yet because I don't wanna weaken them, but you can see they'll easily just fall into place there. These ones I'll trim slightly to fit underneath the weights. Let's test fit a bearing. There we go. Spins well. There's this bolt. I'll put some spacers here to keep this at the right distance. Weights in, make sure it can rotate and clear. Which it does, that's fine. This might just work. No way. For the first time ever in my entire life, I've made something that worked first try. Let's build the rest. In fairness, I have made a couple little one millimeter tweaks to get everything fitting properly. And after printing another version to test, I was happy with it, which I ended up keeping on the car. I could print the remaining three. I was using PLA filament just for prototyping to make life easy, but for the final version here, I'm using ABS filament. It's much more durable, it's weather resistant, and it doesn't deform when you expose it to relatively low heat like PLA does, which is not what you want near the brakes on your car. great mini project for me, one of those ones that actually goes the way I planned. I hope you got something out of that, this has been a fun video to make. I will be uploading a big start to finish compilation of working on that 5 series soon. It's definitely been my longest project ever, I've just been slowly chipping away at it over about a year, but I'm nearly finished with the car, I'll upload a big video when it's done, so stick around for that. Thanks for checking out this video, click all the buttons you've told to click all the time, see you next time.